Well, the Boise football team just wrapped up a game against Air Force, and unfortunately, the Broncos let another one get away from them. Let's get to these highlights. Boise State hosting a 5-1 Air Force squad. It's off to their best start since they started the 2002 season 6-1. Meanwhile, the Broncos were looking to avoid their first three-game losing streak on the blue since 1996. It has been a while. Hank Bachmeyer and Stefan Cobbs get to work right away in this one. Opening drive, that duo connecting here for a gain of 39 yards down the left sideline. Thankfully, I did not get taken out there. I was getting nervous. A few plays later, it's Bachmeyer to Cobbs again, this time for six from eight yards out. Boise State jumps on top, seven nothing. Cobbs had a great ball game, led the team in catches and receiving yards. Air Force would answer back and then some though. They go 75 yards on 14 plays, capped off here. Brad Roberts, tough run up the gut, four yard touchdown run for the Falcons. Air Force ran for 307 yards, and I believe it or not, that's below their season average. Following a three and out by the BSU offense, the Falcons get back on the attack. On third and two, Hazik Daniels takes it in from 25 yards out on the QB keeper. Air Force goes on top 14 to seven. On to the second quarter, Taquan Tyler, his first carry since the UTEP game, rips off a 14-yarder right there. They would score after that, but we go now to the second half. Uh, in a 10-point ball game, Jonah Dalmas boots a field goal through the uprights to cut the deficit to seven. Boise State needing an onside kick, goes for it and gets it. Riley Smith hanging on there, so the Broncos have life. Oh, so we thought they did. For a moment. For a moment. Ensuing play, very next play. Trying to capitalize on the momentum. Oh, no. Hank Bachmeyer picked off. That seals the deal. Broncos fall to three and four, suffer their third straight loss on the blue for the first time since 1996. I want for our players more than anything to be able to learn how to commit and be consistent with their preparation. And that starts with us and teaching them and making sure that we are our best. If, if we are and we, we handle things properly, we're not late to meetings and stuff during the week, then maybe we have better consistency throughout the course of the week. And for us, more than anything, those are the things that you learn when you come to Boise State. Those are the things that we're trying, we're working to reestablish here, that all those little things become big things. And, and for me, more than anything, um, I know in due time, we reestablish this foundation and we get back to doing things more consistently than, um, you know, the outcomes that, that we want will come. As you can see right there, uh, a somber attitude over inside the Gene Blaymeyer football complex. Also heard from Steph Cobbs as well as Scott Matlock and everybody kind of echoing the same sentiment. And that's the fact that uh, Boise State is not meeting the standard right now that the program long established. Scott Matlock used the words frustrated, angry mm -hmm. post game in that post game press conference. And now for Boise State, on one hand, you had in the bye week a chance to rest <laughs> up, recover, get some much needed yeah. rest for a banged up squad. But on the other hand, you and I'll have an additional week to think about this loss and let it fester a little bit. Yeah, that's a, probably never a good thing. You want to go into the lock or into the bye with a, you know a little bit of momentum, feeling yeah. good about yourself. So that's just not the case. It's interesting. I think that every time that we see Boise State struggle, we kind of see a reoccurring storyline, and it's hard for both the offense and the defense. It seems to, yeah. to line up at times. Offense played okay early on, mm -hmm. didn't in the second half. Defense yeah. struggled to get in a rhythm early on, yeah. played really well in the second half. We saw the same exact thing happen against Oklahoma State. And then now you take it a step back, Boise State, with a big loss tonight because it's in the Mountain yeah. Division. Air Force, meanwhile, 2-0 and in division play. They had the leg up on the Broncos. As Boise State heads into the bye week, 3-4, and four, suffering their third straight loss on the blue for the first time since 1996. Well, more news after the break.